there friends, Nibs again. Out at the range today, doing a little bit of shooting. Got several different guns out here, playing around with. <clears throat> Having a pretty good afternoon uh, shooting so far. And I thought you guys would like to take a look at this one here. This is an interesting one for my collection. Um, <clears throat> I did a video earlier on uh, its brother, I guess you could call it. It's uh, The other one's a Lakefield 92C. I actually called it a 92S during the video. Again, another gray hair moment. I fixed it during the uh, editing and titled it properly. But <laughs> So this one is actually what they call a 92, 91T. And I'm not sure what the their model designations, how they work those, but the main difference between this one and the 92C is the 92C is a kind of a more of a sporter. This one's more of a target profile gun and has a heavier and longer barrel <clears throat> and it's a single shot. The 92C is a, it does have a kind of a bull barrel profile, but it's shorter and it has a five shot magazine. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do a couple of groups with this one. Uh, this one, was giving me some troubles and I played around with it and got, uh, it wasn't ejecting, uh, wasn't extracting well and wasn't ejecting well, but I played around with it and hopefully it'll behave while we're doing the, uh, the videos here. <clears throat> but uh, I got my camera running out at 50 yards and I'm just shooting the Federal Auto Match. Again, like the 92C, this one really seems to like this kind of middle of the road speed. It uh, doesn't really like the standard velocity too well. It uh, does okay with the high velocity stuff, but the stuff here that's just right at, rated right at 1200, uh, it really seems to shoot that best. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot a couple of groups. Did check zero on it. Oh, jeez. The uh, trigger did not reset, and I yanked the bullet, uh, the bolt right out with the extracting the last round there. So, Really kind of happened with that first round, but the last two rounds are into one hole. So a little bit of history. I gave some of the history when I was talking about the 92C, but if you're just watching this video and haven't watched that other one, Lakefield was a company from up in Canada that produced guns from, I'm not sure exactly when they started, but I know these ones they made in the 60s and 70s and up into the 80s. Uh, let me take a look here. Well, that's hitting it really good. I don't know why it's not go going off. Let's try a different spot on the primer here. But uh, in the 80s, Savage bought out the Lakefield Company and started producing these same guns under their brand name. And they called them their Mark II. Mark one and Mark two. Mark one was a single shot like this one, and the Mark two had a magazine. All right, well, four shots are real close to each other. That one <laughs> at the bullseye was a flyer. It's kind of funny, but let's go ahead and we'll do one more. But yeah, so the Mark One and Mark II Savages are, are basically copies of these guns. Uh, initially, 
Savage still had a maid in Canada and then they closed down the operation up there and moved everything up to, or down to the United States and they still make them today. Uh, if you have a Savage Mark one or Mark II or a Savage 93, which they is a 17 HMR or 22 Magnum, uh, you're basically buying the same action as this, this rifle here. This one has a really nice trigger <laughs> that doesn't reset. <laughs> This one I got, it was a, definitely a work in progress. It, it kind of still is, but I've got it working and, and it's shooting pretty good. It has a really nice trigger. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. When I bought this one, had numerous issues. It was light striking. It was not extracting, not ejecting. <laughs> That's looking a lot better. That's what I kind of expected from this gun. So I just have kind of a the lower grade Nikon Pro Staff, three to nine by 40 on top here, but it's a, it's a really, that really makes a nice 22 scope, so. There you go, there's a nice one ragged hole, looks like about the size of a 38 special round. That's what I kind of expected from a, a nice gun like this, but there you go. So there is the Lakefield Model 91T, and uh, I did a video earlier today, and they'll be right next to each other probably in my lineup of videos of the 92C, so you can go and take a look at that one too, but uh, they're both pretty nice guns. The 92, the first group I shot with it was really nice, I did another one and it kind of blew open. I don't know what happened there. The wind was swirling around. I'm going to blame it on the wind. I did another group and it got quite a bit better, but not as good as the first one. But, you know, this one, uh, the first group, eh, not terrible, but nothing to write home about. But that second group, one ragged hole, can't ask for much better than that. So, anyway, there you go. Get yourself a Lakefield. It's kind of a neat little piece of history. Uh, if you're into savages at all, I have quite a few savages in my collection. And uh, so I thought it would be kind of cool to have a, a lake field to uh, be part of that history that I have in my collection. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.